name is Pixelated Twix. Welcome to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. I keep wanting to say Dragon Age Origins, but this is not that game. This is Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age Origins was the first in the series of uh, the Dragon Age games. So last time uh, we spoke, well, I did a 45-minute tutorial for J. Love Gaming, and I... Um, was trying to help her out with some of the mechanics of the basic mechanics of Dragon Age. But the last time we actually played the game, uh, we were clearing out the mage uh, hideout. So today we're going to try to get the Templars down and then try to get to Dennett so we can get horses. Um, looking at the map really quick, there's some Templars right there, but looking at the map really quick, we have a lot to get done today. Also, I turned off the music because my last um, gameplay or let's play or episode of Let's Play got a copyright struck because of the end game music, which is unfortunate because the music in Dragon Age is really, really good. Um, it certainly adds to the game and, you know, like the sense of urgency in some, in some instances or just add just to the ambiance but so you're going to listen to me talk to my midwest nasal vo nasally voice and then some of the background noise of the game so no music sorry about that i may put in my own little um dmca free music in the background just to add something but who knows we'll see anyway so back to the task at hand i did do a little bit off camera got some some materials um some things I probably will do off camera because there are some quests in here that are long. Oh, wow, well, his guard is up. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> let's keep him. Oh, let's get that archer up. Shoot. Put that archer down. Um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, some questing, some like, like side quests I probably do off camera. Like the real, like, the ones that kind of don't really add to the story. Um, the, like, MMO type fetch quest in here. Like, for instance, there's a quest that we have to get lambs or ram's wool. I mean, I'm not going to go around. If, if I see a ram, I'll kill it. But uh, for the most part, when I... Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's in here, like... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, get back, get back, get back, get back. Girl, stop, 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 stop. This is a bad position that I'm in because... Okay, sometimes I'd rather just deal with the mages than have to deal with the Templars because this. The guard. The guard. Templar knights are ridiculous. And look, there's more. But I'm not going to be able to get it any quieter here until I make my way. What I may have to do is just... Um, Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if someone else can drink. Back to my character. There's more Templars coming. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Okay, they're walking away. I don't want to aggro anything else, but I know I'm going to have to go into this building over here behind me or in front of me. Uh, there's a lot of loot around here. Okay, so let me get... What is this? Spindleweed? I don't remember what Spindleweed is for. I know it's for some kind of potion, but I don't know if it's one that I actually use. But I'm not going to pass it up just in case. Um, let's see. All right, so this area won't be really safe until I um, shut down the Templar hideout. And, oh, shoot. I should look at my map to see that. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. Get him, get him, get him, get the archer. Him down first. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we need to make our way to Dennett. This is the way, so 
Let's go through here. Shut these guys down. I know I, like I said, I gotta get the Templars hideout down. This isn't it, but I know that this is like, I don't know, this. did I go in here the first time? I feel like I did. I feel like I did. I feel like I might have. I'm not even sure now that I think about it. I feel like I might have already done this one. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to go in there again. There's no point. XP maybe, but um, the wait. Ooh, I didn't go in here. I thought I did. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to go in here. Dog on it. You know what I was thinking? It's the mage one I did because they were in a cave too. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I need, I need to. I need to use tactics here because here we got Templar Knight, Templar Defender, Archer, another Archer. I think that's it. There's nothing else in here. Good. Um. Hmm. So Knight. Okay, so this is the big dude in here. So I'm just gonna grab Cassandra really quick and then make her put up War Cry. Solas, um, hmm, who can we? Solas can freeze this guy. I think I can probably freeze one of the archers. Let's just do that. And then Vera can attack this guy here. So, all right. Yeah, I think I think that's good. All right. Did I not? Did I not freeze this dude? Okay. I screwed that up. The main lead down. This other archer down. Yeah. Okay. Got this one guy left. Okay. All right, cool. Easy work, easy work, easy work. What's this? We must have done enough to draw the attention of the clerics by now. Shouldn't we meet with them? Meet with them where? Brothers, we must listen to the call of the Maker himself, who has given us the duty to destroy these mages. By the rebellion, they have fortified their right to live, forfeited their right to live. They are not people. And in any and any order that asks us to end this just and righteous battle is a lie, a test sent by him to separate the faithful from the foolish. Join us off the West Road and fight for a worthy cause. A letter written in a crisp, educated hand. So... I think I, I might have read something like that similar something similar to that in the the last episode, but um, and I think I did explain the 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 battle or the war between mages and Templars. It's a very real out here. Um, whether we think one side is right over the other, um, it, honestly, the, neither one of them um, is willing to bend the knee and concede bend the knee is willing to concede both of them think they're justified and to a certain extent i would say yes because um the mages have felt like they have the mages along with other uh sects like the elves think they have been wrong throughout the years which i get it as a mage you are there's prejudices against them and Rightfully so, on a certain extent, because mages can be very dangerous when they have no control of their magic, uh, which is the whole purpose of circles. But I think the circles have been bastardized over the years because of the Templar power. Uh, no checks and balances for the most part because there's corruption. Um, Actually, a little background with Cassandra, I, I think I said before that she's a seeker. The seekers are the checks and balances of the Templars, right? They're um, kind of, the Templars are kind of subordinate to seekers. And, um, but there's corruption, right? Just like with absolute power, um, there's always corruption. But, um, and then the Templars are basically, um, 
Chantry soldiers, and they're used, mistreated, um, to a certain extent. So they're they're sent to do the dirty work of the Chantry. So there's that. Um, kind of think they they've been pit against each other. Really, I think they kind of need both need each other. What's over here? I thought there was a. What's this? Let's read it. We must be ready to fight, not only the mages, but those who sympathize with them. Have not the mages' blood magic to trick the minds of the unwary? Are not those are not most people, as we know them, sheep, ready to be led by those who speak with authority? The people must be protected from the mages. It is our right and our duty. But those who supply them with lyrium, those who offer them comfort and food, those who shirk their duty to supply us for our worthy fight. They are sympathizers who have lain with demons and can breed only abominations, and they must be slain as such. We will wage our war from our camp off the west road, and we will not stop until this world is clean. Okay, so there's someone spreading this propaganda that anyone that isn't helping the Templars is deemed an enemy or has been written off as an enemy of the Templars. I mean, it's so realistic because this is chock full of politics and religious connotations. And it's so like pertinent to even today. So I'm not going to get all preachy and stuff, but it's kind of one of the reasons why I like Dragon Age because these are like situations not obviously the the magic and things like that, but these like real situations that that happen even today. Like you choose a side, you draw a line in the sand. If you're not with us, you're against us. Um, yeah, that's basically what's going on here. Is if you're not with us, you're against us, and it's on both sides really. Um, May just not trusting anyone, and Templars. Obviously, if you're not helping them, supplying them with. Um, Supplying them with food and, and shelter and what have you, uh, you have made your decision. So, yeah. Interesting. Okay, so this is where we need to go. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get this loot. Get this loot. Warden Helm. Let me check this really quick. Let me make sure that I don't have any upgrades. Uh, we're not level six yet. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, this is going to be long. I can tell. I need to be. I need to make my episodes a little bit longer. I really do. Okay, let's claim this. This bridge was broken recently, most likely in the fighting between apostate mages and renegade templars. All right, so let's head up this way. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's heal. I think. Let's heal up Solas. Um. Everybody else. Oops. Everybody else is good. Okay. Okay. It's just two of them. I don't need to use tactics. Get him down, the other defender. Sandra should be good. detail I love that where they burn up and you can see their their skeleton I don't know if you saw that or not but it's kind of I've, I've never noticed that before let's grab this anything good hmm. some gold lightning staff I need to clear out my inventory because it's gonna get ridiculous really quickly at least wait a minute before I speak because I was like at least I don't run out of inventory space but that's a lie I'm almost like out of inventory space. So I definitely need to clear out some some stuff and things. Um, so let's head up this way. The Templars have secured a position ahead. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he went down really fast. 
Oh, shoot. I spoke way too soon. I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be easy. Get that archer down. Get both of those archers down. Oh, gosh. Are we going to pull? I think we're going to pull. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm way too close. I just said that I'm about to run out of inventory space, didn't I? Yet, here we are. Every single game that I play that has anything to do with looting. How many do we have up here? Three, according to the map. One, two, three. There's a third one. There's a fourth one over there. So let's try not to pull the fourth one. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Cassandra. Oh, let's see. Let's get you. I mean, these guys look pretty weak. I mean, they are. Okay, so let's taunt. Uh, Solas. I mean, really, we don't need to do a whole lot here, but um, let's see. Let's just let's just attack. I mean, let's just attack. What? What's wrong with me? I mean, honestly. It was just extra. I really didn't have to do a lot here. Okay, let's let this. Sweet, level up. Just me? Yeah, just me. What is she doing? Ah, oh, aggressive. Hang it. Now I can't. Okay. Where is she at? Oh my gosh. Is she fighting? No. Jump up here. I don't know if we can use that. Nope. Yes, so. on the king's road now okay so we've cleared out the mages cleared out the templars so this area should be secure for most Ooh, see look at that dang it and it's a nice sword i can't pick up anything oh that sucks yeah i'm gonna go over here and try to loot okay i can take this stuff nope can't shoot okay so we have a dilemma um, I need this sword. Okay. What can I get rid of? Okay. Uh, ring of flanking. Let's give this to Varric. Um, that should leave us room to loot. And, boom. Let's see if we can give this other one to Cassandra. Let me move my mic out the way. Okay, Cassandra, what is this one looking like? What do you have? This, 79. I mean, this. Hmm. Hmm. 
crit damage bonus strength is this warrior only yeah I, I always feel I feel like the mercenary lore blade is a little bit better but I kind of like the additional strength but the armor pen and then there's ah I don't know I think I'm just gonna go with the mercenary lore blade surprisingly enough I feel like that's a little bit better um no, I'm still anyways let me let me level you these guys up really quick um wrong screen okay what do I have I'm gonna try to work my way down this tree first mm, yeah and then Stola Varric is next okay so Varric um let's give you that and then Cassandra mm. what we got Cassandra water fighter Snellis let's go here sword and board hmm oops I keep hitting that button okay let's just loot the thankfully the the um supplies the mats stack mm. anything else back here yep some more rocks iron use an iron oh my gosh shouldn't we travel the val Royo now seeker uh. the breach isn't going to close itself indeed the sooner we obtain help for the breach the better okay tell you what let's let's go to val Royo. let's see if we can head back to to haven i mean i said i wanted to get over to dennett but i don't want to be in the hinterlands forever we can we can mix it up. So let's head to the world map and go to Haven, and then we can travel over to Val Royal. I think. I think. I don't know if I can, but I think we have enough power to go to Val Royal um, and see what's going on there. Because Sola seems to be pushing us that way, so let's do that. Um, yeah. Okay. Right, so let's go into the um what is this called the, it's not the temple it's not a really a chain i guess it is a chantry oh what is any any special anything special greetings greetings i doubt it this is kind of sometimes this is a bug but nope yeah see i knew it i should have known better greetings Okay. Greetings. Greetings. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about this. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate. Enough. Knight Captain. That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? Mm. I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Colin, I guess. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. I don't like Which him. is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. He's it's a jerk. You. Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. Mm. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste. I think not. I'm not the Herald. I don't believe I'm Andraste's herald any more than you do, Chancellor. That 
laudable humility won't stop the Inquisition from using the misconception when it suits them. The Inquisition claims only that we must close the breach or perish. You say that now, Commander. We shall see if the sentiment remains true. Um... Why is he here? Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay. Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. Hmm. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. Hmm. Let's see. Is, uh... Who killed the Divine? Let's see, no. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. Hmm. Okay, uh, who killed the Divine? The mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new Divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. I'm not the Herald of Andraste. I keep saying this. Um, good luck with keeping order. I'll return with good news. Oh, that's right, because she needs to go to Val Royo. I'll Val make sure they see reason in Val Royo. I pray you're right. Yeah, me too. All right, so let's head over to the table. Um, you know what? I kind of want to... What's this? The Fade. Okay, I'm not going to read all that, but... Let's head over. The Mother Giselle. Which is to verify that the infections have decreased in number. Yes. Thank you for your help. Tell me, are you happy this way? With everything you feel and dream cut These away? Truths, the I no longer talk to dragons. Me, as there is I one see. God, okay. One life, go one death. Death. Okay, there so I may... God, I don't remember if I mentioned this before, but there, um, there are instances where mages, either by choice or not by choice, their powers are taken away from them and they are not able to dream. They become what they call tranquil. So if um, she asked Mother Giselle, and you can see on this girl's head, the center of her head, I don't know if you saw that, is like this, this sign right here, the symbol. Um, basically, that's the symbol of the Chantry, I believe. And it just means that this mage is tranquil, um, which means they don't have any powers, they don't dream, and they become very monotone, like they have no emotions. Um, and a lot of them like work in the chantry, some of them work in the circle, um, but they are not able to weld magic Speak any longer. So again, that's either by choice or by... Um, by, the, you know whoever, somebody in the trans Chantry, the Templars, it could be anybody. Okay, so let's go to there the table. No I think we said we're running out of Val Royal. I don't know if I have enough points to go. I don't think it's a lot, but, um, hmm. Okay, so operations, you have access to missions now. Mission operations take time and bring the Inquisition resources and rewards. Only one mission per advisor can be active at a time. Some missions have a preferred type, which results in less time rendering when undertaken by the associated advisor. Missions may also provide a different rewards depending on which advisor completes them. Okay, so the the um, point of the table is um, like their way of kind of moving the soldiers around. What have you heard, Liliana? <sighs> Anything new we don't already know about? No, nothing. Okay, so on the table, there are places that we can actually visit, and then there, um, there are things that we can just send out quests to, right? So um, the pyramid-shaped are... Um, 
uh, little pieces are places that we can actually visit. Then there's these ones that kind of have the, I can't really tell what they are. Those are missions that we can just send out. Now, um, each person standing around the table, Cullen, Justin, um, Josephine, Liliana, they have, um, they have their own crew of people, each one, and they each have a different way of dealing with a problem. So Cullen is a uh, captain. Um, he has military experience. So he's going to be a more, he's going to deal with the situation in a more militant way. Josephine is more of a um, politician. So she's going to deal with it more delicately, um, especially um being that she kind of she's from the socialite um, group of people, uh, royal not royalty because she, but she her family had money. Liliana is a spy, so she's going to have her own way of dealing with things, mostly like um, getting infiltrate infiltrating and hiring people to um, get information. So depending on what. Uh, person you choose to deal with a mission is going to determine the outcome of that particular quest. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so we also get additional Inquisition perks. So we have a perk point to use. Um, I like to try. So here it is: um, forces, secrets, connections, the Inquisition. The Inquisition is going to be just everyone as a whole, I believe. Um, but forces would be Colin, secrets would be Liliana, connections would be just uh, Josephine. Okay, so Ferelden or Lay. So this is going to be a part of the main quest line. It's got a little green thing over it. So we're going to go here. Uh, click. Okay, there we go. Select. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. Uh... Yeah. I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with her. Okay. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Okay, so we can address the Chantry in Val Royale. This is more on Josephine's side. The remaining Chantry clerics who have declared the Inquisition heretical attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed. And at this moment, we could not set a step, a f step foot in the capital city without being attacked by a mob or arrested.